Hey, welcome to Maddie Makes. I'm Crystal, and today is Sunday, January 14th. Um, but I was sitting down to work on, this, uh, well, I guess you'd call it a commission. Um, I have a friend who wants his patches sewn on, so I will do that. You know, people learn that you know how to sew, and it's, can you do this for me? Which is fine. Um, these do have the adhesive back. So your standard sewing machine is going to slug through this. You need something heavy duty. So Mr. Heavy Duty, do the rest of you. So I was sitting down, setting up the film equipment. Yep, there's a stand to film that when I got a notification on my phone. And I got super, super, super excited. And this was at my front door. Mind you, I will pop pictures in of what the front door... The deck looks like under two inches of ice. You know, every crafter should have a multi-tool. Just saying. Doesn't really matter what craft you're in. Every crafter should have a multi-tool. You never know what you're going to need. Making sure I'm just cutting through the plastic and not through the pattern. Why, why bag it twice? Why, why use a mailer and then use a mailer? I don't understand the waste that needed here. It was paper, right? And this, this is what was in there. So, what's in here? So, super excited. It's 4448 men's, right? So vest, jacket, pants, shirt, whole thing. Boom. So jacket, totally cool. Can redesign that down to fit me, which will be nice. Um, so you can do the, just two different versions of the shirt. This nice vest and pants. So hopefully I can do part of this. Oh, and the hat. And there's a hat. He has a hat. We don't worry about that. But work on that. Nothing seems overly fitted other than the vest. Because the pants really are just fitted around the waist. The rest really doesn't matter too much. And the shirt is just baggy. I hope those are real pockets. If they're not real pockets. Here, do you see the pockets? It's around both views. Um, if they're not real pockets, I'm going to make them real pockets. Because everyone needs pockets in their wardrobe. you got to be able to put your cell phone in there and hide it. Right? So, super excited about that. Love to really just rip into it and get going on that right now. But let's finish this other jacket real quick. And then I'll come up with a game plan. Oh, yeah, the two shirts one with the ruffle lace levies and one with non ruffle lace levies. That's cute. I do like me some ruffles. So, and I think that'll look good just in a muslin. Nice little off white. But that being said, let's go finish the jacket. Well, there it is, all finished. Stitched into place. Mannequin eating the bug. There it goes thread matched really well. You can barely see where my stitches are. Nice. On to the next project. I decided to start with the pants. And those are the pieces I'm cutting out first. Now he wants them longer, so I am going to take a tracing of them. I don't like messing with the original pattern. Because if I take a tracing from it, then I can do whatever I want with it. And not feel like I'm damaging anything. Yeah, let me show you what I found. It's an embroidered cotton. 
Oh, it'd be stunning, right? Is it too much? There's some white punk on it. Hello, Captain Bloodstone. Uh, no, I think the original combo was better. is now a dress shirt this this and then your gray yeah i think that's the best love that freaking love that fabric i think that's a good outfit it doesn't scream bloodstone to me but it... that's because you had the blue elements yep too many blue elements you want to go with Okay. I'm going to press the fabric and the pattern pieces. Near enough. And we're just going for the large size, so that makes it easy. Don't have to do any weird manipulation of the pattern piece. I'm going to add an inch to it right here at the increase line. out for the pirate pants and I even put the stabilizer on the waistband and uh, ankle bands. Tomorrow we'll start sewing it up starting with the front pant piece and working our way to the back. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna follow the instructions. It's, just, it's gonna be how it is. Anyway it is almost midnight and I am heading to bed so good night y'all and I'll see you in the morning. And at the start of the evening, I only have about an hour to work today, but all cut out, all ready to go. Let's see how much I can get done in the next hour. Hello and welcome to Tuesday night. And um, as you might notice, um, the fabric has changed. I showed my husband the front part of the pants that were mostly done. And he's like, and I had the light shining through. He's like, no, that fabric's way too thin. I couldn't possibly. So we changed fabrics and I used the bright green that we started with as a kind of a mock-up towards him and realized that we were many inches shy from making this work. And even though size-wise it should have been right, measurement-wise it was not. So I went back to the drawing board and now I'm cutting things out again. And I will show you where I am after I get the next back panel drafted out to fit. Thank you much. So it's around dinner time and I am getting hungry. And I just learned to don't, don't sew when you're hungry. Beautiful top of pants. Very backwards, need to undo it. 
Yeah, no, I did it on both sides too. So, you know, this is fun. Mr. Ripper, where are you? Oh, this, this will work. We're good. That'll work. See you in a few minutes. Hello, it is Thursday, January 18th. And today I am still working on the pirate pants after the fabric change, the sizing change, or the, or the custom fit change. Um, I'm redoing the bottom of the pants. Okay, here's me not knocking my suit over. Um, I made this casing way too big, so I'm gonna rip it apart because these two, when all folded correct, need to meet up, and they very clearly do do not. So. I'm gonna be ripping that out. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I sewed the elastic in, but these are way huge, so it's okay if I take some of this out. So I'm just going to trim it. I can't even see what I'm doing. Trim it. It's, it's Now the elastic's free. Very easy to trim this side. Did a really good job sewing this one. There it goes. So much better. Save that for something else. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that the ha 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 that I can use my, my quick seam ripper. Things that are comfortable for your hand. Speed seam ripping. Wait a minute. So I ironed them all out. That's the back panel. Um, oh gosh, I have to do the back panel too. Um, this is the back panel of the pants, so right on your back waistline. I am going to make a double casing for quarter inch elastic. That's that's what this pattern calls for. So not not really authentic as far as Victorian era or anything is concerned, because um, oh, elastic. Um, anyway. black stitching to show so black is my bobbin and I'm gonna make two little casings just gonna make sure I have enough room I have enough room so I'm gonna to go top and bottom center no bottom top and center because I think that'll sew better how about the yellow light that is what's in the machine currently Now the seam here, I opened it up and stitched the side down. Now this is really important. Actually, yeah, oop, oop, hard to see. Okay, Over. Come here. This is important. If you stitch, stop wobbling. If you stitch the sides of your seam allowance down, when you put your elastic in, you won't get caught underneath the fold. These are all stitched down. So I just did a box stitch everything down. Now, since I'm in a hurry, I'm not going to rip the whole seam out to redo it. I am just going to Double up over part of it. Get back somewhat close.
sightseeing. Oops, how are we doing this? Um, side seams that leave this open and leave the bottoms open and then we'll finish them off with some top stitching and stuff. And I'm not putting the dumb buttons on. See the, put buttons on. Why are we putting buttons on? There's nothing, if there's nothing to button, I don't put buttons on. If I wanted to leave this open so you could button it, that'd be a different story. Okay. Okay, I have the side seam together. I'm gonna to sew from the seam to the other seam. So these two, make sure those match. And so I don't sew over any of that yet. So I'm just gonna sew over this. Just making sure when I do this, this match up. Do the tug test there. Keep this there. There. Boom. The other way. Boom. This goes up to here. So now that is here. So those are lined up. Tug test. Okay, and there's extra fabric at the bottom. So we're gonna have to push it in, which means it needs to go on the bottom. Then we hold the top a little tight and I'm just pinning it together. I think I can hide things better at the bottom than the top, so we're gonna start the top. And where you have the extra fabric, put that back because the feed dogs will help feed that through. Make sure everything is out, is out. that up. It starts underneath. Now, I'll get this all sewn up for you guys and then you can see hopefully the finished product and how it looks at the ball.